Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a Paralab hardware setting with LabChart software in order to use um, the AD Instruments um, uh, blood pressure cuff and sigmometer to get a um, pressure reading directly into the system where you can see the reading and see the pressure in real time and record that data. Besides having this little sort of um, compartment here that's going to take the pressure and turn it into a digital signal that's going to go through this um, DIN pin uh, adapter, this is essentially a normal blood pressure cuff. So it's, uh, it's very similar to any other cuff that you've ever used if you've used a manual blood pressure cuff before. So I'm not going to go into that in any real detail in this video. Um, so just go ahead and look elsewhere for information on how to use a blood pressure cuff, manual blood pressure cuff, if you're not used to that. Um, so, but what we're going to do is we're going to plug this, uh, this DIN connector into this Paralab box here. And so I have it set up so it's going to be looking for this in channel 4. So I'm going to just go ahead and plug this directly into channel 4. It takes a little bit of pressure, you have to push in firmly. Um, and that's essentially the setup uh, as far as the, the power lab goes. Um, and I'll show you how to use the software here in a second. Um, now, as far as the uh, occlusion cuff or blood pressure cuff, um, so if you're using it as a blood pressure cuff, it does have labels here telling you where to put the, the cuff as far as, uh, as far as covering the brachial artery goes. Um, so, here right now, I'm not going to put this on a person. I'm just going to, for demonstration, put it on this old poster tube so you can see what I'm talking about when um, with the cuff and how to use the cuff. So we're not going to actually be measuring blood pressure here. We're just going to be showing um, sort of cuff pressure. Okay. All right. So it's it's on this tube now, and so let's go ahead and work with the software now. So first thing you want to do though is um, make sure that you turn on the unit, so make sure that the, the power switch on the back is on, and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on the software. All right, so we already turned on the Paralab um, hardware, so there's a switch in the back of the box there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on to the computer, and we're gonna turn on LabChart 8 software. And so you're gonna see it's looking for devices, it's scanning, it's making sure that the Paralab is connected and that it's turned on. And so it's got this green check next to the power lab sig signal, uh, sim sorry, next to the power lab um, words there, which tells you it is on, it's connected properly. It's got these other things here which we're not using, so it doesn't matter that this one here is not connected, so it's got that red X. But we're just gonna click OK so we can get right into the software. All right, so we have our settings files here. We also could do a new file if we wanted to click new, it would um, bring up a, just a blank. Uh, lab chart file without any settings put into it, but I've already set this up. I've already made sure that it, it works. So let's go ahead into one of my setup settings files. Um, so I'm going to do this 30% hand grip trial settings file. All right. So for this, we have a bunch of different things that are um, recorded in the settings file. So I'm just going to sort of get rid of all of that because the only one we care about for this is the cuff pressure, which is the pressure inside this blood pressure cuff that we're using. All right, so now that everything's set up, the software is on, I'm just going to hit start to start recording. And you can see that the, um, the line is there for the data that's being recorded. It's somewhere near zero, so this is why I said this probably isn't the best for doing accurate blood pressures. So this has been calibrated recently, um, but it's got a little bit of a drift. Um, I guess it was calibrated maybe a month or so ago, so it's drifted a little bit in that time. But it's somewhere near the zero, zero line there, but if we look up here, we're seeing some sevens, some nines, uh, occasionally some fours or zeros in there, so it is a little bit off. All right, so for blood pressure, probably not the best demonstration of blood pressure, it's probably okay, um, but this is going to be primarily used as just a, a system for uh, occluding blood flow um, with my research at least. So if we go in here and we, um, so if we, if we take this and we start to actually inflate the cuff, so just like any other manual cuff you've ever seen, it's going to have a little um, sphygmometer aneroid dial, which is going to show the actual pressure inside this. So you can always calibrate this pretty easily with a um, two-step calibration. And we have the bulb that you're used to seeing with the little uh, release valve on that. So I'm going to close that release valve. 
um, so that no air is escaping. And I'm gonna go ahead and inflate the cuff. So it's gonna take um, quite a few pumps to get that cuff inflated just because I don't have it wrapped all that tightly around that tube right now. Um, so let's see, this is saying around 240 millimeters of mercury and up here it's reading almost 250. So it, it is off again, like I said, it's off by a little bit, but if you just wanna be able to show cuff pressure and the increase and decrease in pressure, we can pretty easily see that here. You can see each of the um, sort of squeezes of the bulb here with this sort of jagged uh, part of the signal. And now I'm gonna go ahead and release the cuff. So let's do one more quick uh, quality control here. So I'm about 232 millimeters of mercury. And up here I'm reading somewhere in the high 230s, low 240s. So again, off by a little bit, but let's go ahead and release the pressure here. And you're gonna see that line come way down quickly. All right, there it is, back down closer to zero. So this is how to use a, the occlusion cuff that ADI sells. So again, it can be used for blood pressure, but it, it's got some issues with accuracy in my opinion. It can be improved by calibrating it before each use, which I, which I did not do here. Um, but it is definitely something that is good for just doing occlusion studies where you just need to have a sort of high pressure and a low pressure and be able to show when that occurred. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If, it, uh, if you have any questions, put those in the comments section below. If you have any other qu comments you want uh, to add, to go ahead and put those below as well. And uh, feel free to like, share this video as, as at your will, and come back and watch another video whenever you uh, get a chance. Thanks.